Hey YouTube. I want to talk to you guys today about cutting the negative people out of your life. Um, it's more of a universal conversation to be honest with you. It's not specifically directed at fitness, but as I generally talk about fitness on this channel, I'm just going to talk about it in a fitness context. So, cutting the negative people out of your life is an extremely hard thing to do. However, it needs to happen pretty much if you ever want to make true success when it comes to anything fitness related. Um, that's simply because we are egotistical creatures and we want to be accepted by people. We want to be liked and we want to be loved. Oh, fuck that shit. When it comes down to it, let's say fitness wise, you come and you've made a decision, I'm going to change, right? I'm going to lose 50 pounds this year. I'm going to put on 20 pounds of muscle. I'm going to do fucking something. I don't know. I'm going to run a marathon. So you decide that you're going to make this change and the people around you support you. And they're like, hey, yeah, what can we do to help you? Or, oh, hey, bro, you're doing fucking awesome. Great. These people sound very positive in your life. That's awesome. However, you then run into people that are like, oh, hey, you know, you want to uh, you wanna go for drinks? And you're like, oh, I can't. I got to run tomorrow morning. And they're like, whatever, fag. And you're like, oh, okay, that's kind of hurtful. I'm, I'm trying to do something here, but, ah, oh, shit. All right, maybe I'll have a couple of drinks. Now, if you're not strong enough inside, willpower-wise, to turn around and say, how about you go fuck yourself? What ends up happening is a lot of people end up sabotaging themselves due to peer pressure or just wanting to fit in with their old group of friends or the people that they've had around since high school or maybe they're new friends. I don't know. You're trying to impress them. If you keep negative people in your life, regardless of even if you can say, go fuck yourself, what's going to end up happening is it's just undo stress on your body that you don't need, right? It's undue pressure. You're just, and it's difficult. It really is. Um, when I first started way back when, and I was a little skinny fat wiener kid, I'm still a wiener kid, but you know, just a little bit less skinny fat. What would happen was I would run into people all the time where they'd be like, oh, hey, you want a donut? And I'm like, no, I'm good. And they're like, it's only a donut, man. And I'm like, well, no, I realize it's only a donut, but I've, I've got goals that I'm, I'm moving towards. And you know, I, I appreciate the offer, but I'm just, I'm not interested. And then we get mad at you because you weren't eating. Like, I, I think get mad at me, sorry, because I wasn't willing to eat a donut. And I'm like, look, I get it. It is a fucking donut. I get that. I do. I can have a cookie now if I want to. I can have a donut every now and then if I want to. But it's not the lifestyle I'm choosing to live. And people almost take it as a personal insult when you do something contradictory to what they see as okay. So when you're turning around and you're saying like, well, I, you know what, I appreciate gross, right? Ugh. Um, you know, like I appreciate you offering me a donut. What they see is you turning around and saying like, I don't want your fucking donut because I'm better than you. Now that's a them problem. That's up there for them where they can't turn around and be like, oh, you want a donut? Oh, okay, cool. More donuts for me, motherfucker. Which is what I would do when it comes down to it. Um, and that's kind of who I become as a person. You know, if I do offer something to somebody and they say, no, I'm not insulted. I'm like, all right, fuck you. Like, I'm good. I'm just going to eat this donut then. We, sometimes I sometimes I have cheat days and normally on my cheat days I don't actually offer donuts to other people I just sit there and they're like can I have a donut I'm like fuck off anyways so cut the negative people out of your life simply because they are not going to understand what you want and they're either going to make you feel bad for the decisions you're making where they're like what you can't have a drink what you can't have a donut what you can't have a fucking cookie it's a cookie great get that I'm not retarded. I actually have like, you know, a mod modicum of an IQ. I understand that it's a single item. But having said that, that's not where I'm going with my life. And I'm not insulting you for the way you're going with yours. Now, as, as, as a society, as, as human beings, fundamentally we are intelligent creatures. For the most part. You know, if somebody turned around to you and said, hey, you want to try heroin? You'd be like, you know, I think I'm okay. Having said that, I have patients that come into my emergency room where I'm like, so what's the story? And they're like, I was at a party, somebody offered me heroin, and well, fuck, I guess I took too much. And you're like, when did this seem like happy fun times to you? Like, you've never done heroin before, you have a job, you have a wife, you have kids. Fuck it, let's just give it a try. All right, here's some Narcan. Wake up. Um... But, I mean, that I'm not shitting you, that's like that tr true story, that shit happens all the time. It's kind of sad. So, like, fundamentally we can turn around and say, like, okay, like, I don't want to try heroin, and if somebody offered it to me, I wouldn't. But when people 
because we're very judgy, judgmental creatures, and I say creatures because we are a fucking, we are creatures in society. I sometimes value human beings less than I do most animals, simply because, uh, yeah, my sister's dog loves me for me, and I can have fun with that dog, whereas other people will look at me and be like, oh, I am instantly making a judgment on this person because he lifts weights. Oh, I'm making a judgment on him because of this. Without ever getting to know you. Fucking dogs don't really give a shit. I, I digress. I'm fucking going off on a tangent here. I also only slept for two hours uh, off a night shift, and I'm going to be going to the gym after this video. So, when you decide to do something against what somebody wants or values, they're going to take it as an insult. They're going to make it, they're not, they're not going to make it about you. They're going to make it about them. They're going to turn around and say like, oh, you don't want my blank. That's because you're judging me for what I do. Now, you might never even fucking say a comment. It's not like you're like, I don't want your fucking doing it, you fat piece of shit. Get off my back. Because you wouldn't, because you're a good person, right? But they're going to see you saying, politely saying no, as judging them for eating their donuts, and then they're going to lash back out. And that's when you hear people like, once again, it's only a fucking donut. And you're like, yeah, look, once again, I realize it's a donut. The most support I've ever gotten is from random people at the gym. And that's not true. Technically speaking, I have a couple really close friends that no matter what I've done in my fitness journey and what I continue to do today will always support me 100%. I can tell them anything. I'll be like, hey, I'm giving up heavy lifting and I'm going to run a marathon again. Fuck that shit. Never. That's never happening. And they'd be like, awesome, bro. Like, fucking give her shit. Whereas, you know, other people might turn around and be like, why are you giving up on heavy lifting? I thought that was your thing. And you're like, because I don't want to fucking lift anymore. Maybe I want to run a marathon. Like, why can't you just be happy for me? People are always going to be negative and hold you back. And if somebody sees you accomplishing something that they aren't willing to or something they wish they could attain but aren't willing to put the effort in, they're going to try and bring you down to their level. And it's a fundamental human truth for the most part that people will do this. They'll try to bring you down to their level. They'll try to hammer you into the ground so that you stay where they stay. Because then they're like, no, no. John and I are on the same fucking level because John can't lift weights heavy because I've been holding him back and I can't lift heavy weights because I'm too lazy. Therefore, my friend John and I are good friends. Whereas it's like, wow, John lost like 100 pounds of body fat and put on 100 pounds of muscle. I wish I could do that. Was John think he's fucking better than me? Because people are ignorant pieces of shit. So, wow, this has been seven and a half minutes of me ranting. Cut negative people out of your life, guys. Uh, it is very difficult to get ahead with anything, whether it be financial, spiritual, emotional, f physical, if you have people in your life who aren't there to support you. And it's tough. And for the most part, like even like financial, yeah, people will support you for the most part. But if you start making a lot more money than you, they tend to get jealous because now you can afford stuff they can't. Physical, we are a very physical driven society, despite... Um, you know what we what a lot of people try to do these days against that like we love our biggest loser we love watching those people you know lose 150 pounds and we're like oh wow that's fucking amazing like good for them but if any of your close friends were to make like minor gains people get jealous because they're like well i can't fucking do that it's bullshit like Meh. it's very difficult to get ahead right you need you need positive people in your life that have like-minded goals that are going to go ahead and push you forward in life so get rid of the negativity, get rid of those people that hold you back. I'm not saying the first time somebody offers you a donut, tell them to go fuck themselves and cut them off forever. But if you notice that people are trying to sabotage your journey and, and trying to make you feel bad for the decisions you make or just not understanding that no, you don't want this and you have other goals, maybe consider distancing yourself. Um, it's what I've had to do just simply because I, I get tired of being told negative shit or have negative shit said to me. and. Another fundamental human human truth is people will say some like next level stupid heinous shit to you and not think like that was pretty fucking rude, you know, like I probably shouldn't have said that. But they'll turn around, they'll make a comment, and you're like, hey, that was really mean. And they're like, no, it wasn't. And you're like, yeah, no, it really was. If I had said that to you, you'd have been really fucking offended. But they don't want to think that what they say is offensive or maybe they don't even give a shit. So distance yourself from the negativity, surround yourself with positive people that are that have like-minded interests or just simply support you in your goals, right? I mean, I have I have people that don't lift weights at all, don't do anything physical that support me in my goals more than friends that, you know, quote unquote, go to the gym and lift weights that don't really give that much of a fuck. That's what it comes down to, guys. Pick like-minded friends, pick or pick friends that are gonna support you no matter what. Get rid of the negative people out of your life 
because nothing's going to hold you back in life more than those negative comments either sitting in the back of your head or having to hear it over and over and over and over every fucking day, which sucks. If you got the willpower to turn around and just tell somebody to go fuck themselves, awesome. Like, give her shit. I've had to do it a lot. You know, when people just have to be told that and then they're like, wow, that was mean. You're like, no, what you're doing is mean. I'm just putting you in your place now. Oi, wow, ten, tw ten and a half minutes of me just ranting about getting rid of negative people. You're stronger than this, you're better than this, and no matter whether you succeed or whether you fail, keep forging ahead, cut the negativity out of your life, get rid of those people, surround yourself by people that support you and want, want you to succeed no matter what your fucking goal is. If your goal is to become the next major you know, CEO of fucking Microsoft and you're like 35 and it's like, Fuck, that's going to be a hard journey, but I'm there for you no matter what the entire way through. It's not that I specifically think you're going to do it, but I'm not going to tell you you can't. I'm going to do everything I can to help you. Keep that fucking person around. But if you turn around and you say that and they're like, bro, you're never going to fucking do that. You're not that smart. You're not charismatic. You don't even have the right education. They start off with that negative bullshit out of their mouth. Kick them to the fucking curb. Get rid of them. They're not worth your time. That's it, guys. Questions and comments down below. Sorry this went on for long enough. I'm sure people aren't even going to fucking finish this video because it was way too long with me talking to the camera. Uh, yeah. Get rid of the negative motherfuckers, man. Like, they will do nothing but bring you down in life. And, you know, if you're like me and you've got a history of depression and anxiety and stuff, you need to get rid of those people out of your life because simply all they're going to do is be triggers for that part of your, like, that part of your psyche, right? You don't need that shit. They don't need that shit. And at the end of the day, they don't have your best interests in mind. Yeah, so guys, as always, eat like a bodybuilder and train like a powerlifter.